Here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to Moomin Land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 But for instance, I think we've done everything one could possibly do. None of you three can think of a single thing to do. You're useless, aren't you? Well, can you think of anything except catching grasshoppers? Hmm, there must be something we can do. Now, we've all had times like this, haven't we? Fortunately, right then, the mailman arrived. Hello, a letter for you. A letter! That must be from my sister for me! No, no, it's from Mom and Papa this time. Is that so? Who would write to him? A woman? Someone called Jane? Huh? See that he gets it now! Who could this Jane possibly be? It's your father's old girlfriend, of course. Never! Oh, I'm sure he had dozens and dozens. Mom and Papa was a very kind and handsome young man. A voice from the past. Mom and Papa, look what I've got for you! Hmm. Jane? Oh, no! Aha, uh -huh, I was yes, right! Yes, you were! Moomin Mama, I think you should go back to the kitchen. Whatever for, little Mai? Because Moomin Papa's stormy youth is catching up with him. Please, Papa, tell us it's not that kind of letter. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Don't worry. Whatever it was, it was a long time ago, long before I ever met you. No, it's not that kind of letter. What sort of letter is it, then? Oh, much worse. It's from Aunt Jane. Who's Aunt? Oh, mine, my dear, is on my father's side. Oh, how boring. You look very pale suddenly, dear. Yes, because she's coming for a visit tomorrow. Oh, don't worry. There's plenty of time for arranging a welcome party. But I don't like her, and I don't want her to come for a visit. Oh, and Papa, why not? Well, you'll soon see. She's very rich. Very and... rich? Yes, and she bosses everyone. We won't have a moment of peace. Oh, maybe she's so rich, she'll give us all wonderful presents. Goodness, this is so unexpected. Why is she coming here all of a sudden? Uh, she says she wants to discuss money matters. Good heavens, with me? She says there's no one else. So you see, I'm in a very difficult situation. Well, why can't you tell her you're not an expert? You don't tell Aunt Jane things. She tells you and that's that. It's hard to explain, but when you meet her, you'll know exactly what I mean. What do I know about money matters? Nothing. Not surprising, since we've never had any. How can she expect a poor creature like you to know anything about money? Also, she's very, very suspicious. And she says money is a terrible burden. Oh, I wouldn't mind shouldering her burden. Maybe you'll inherit it, and then we could share the money and have a wonderful time together. Eh? This time, I almost did it. Oh, oh. Snark! Beloved brother, wake up! So Moomin Papa has a rich aunt. Very interesting. Yes, she's got so much money, she doesn't know what to do with it all. Oh. So, Snork, why don't you ask her to invest in your flying ship? You'll need money to rebuild, won't you? It would be a great investment for her. It certainly would be. I'm sure she'd jump at it. Hmm. 
There'd be no harm in asking, I guess. What's the matter, Mr. Hemulin? You look so unhappy. I'm stuck, that's my problem. How's that? Stuck in my research. This magnifying glass is very good, of course, but I just can't get any further with my botanical research with this old-fashioned equipment. Yeah, what I really need is a microscope and a laboratory. Hmm. And they're expensive, I guess. Yes, they are, and I don't have any money. Well, Mom and Papa's aunt is coming over tomorrow, and I know she's got any amount of money. Any amount, Sniff? I'll get her to finance you, Hemulin, and we'll get a big greenhouse, and you'll grow orchids and roses and other things, and then we'll sell them. Oh, I'll get rich. Uh, you too. Hmm? Are you talking to me? Of course I am. Who else? I say, do you know the way to Moomin House, young man? Yes, you might say I do. Show me where it is, then. Over there. It's tall and blue. Just follow that stream and you can't miss it. Good. Would you be kind enough to take my suitcase? I'm sorry I can't. I'm too busy. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Think again, young man. But all I want to do is fish. What? You don't want money? <laughs> I heard you were coming to visit Mom and Papa. You're Aunt Jane, aren't you? Who else? Pleased to meet you. I'm here to take you to Mom and House. Is this your suitcase? <laughs> wow, this suitcase is very heavy. Should be. It's full of golden coins. What? Uh, uh, I'll take care of this. Let's go, Aunt Jake. I can't stay in this house. I don't think I can take Aunt Jane. I'm going to hide out in the cave until she's gone. Bye-bye, then, dear. Hey, hey, careful now, Aunt Jane. The bank's a bit slippery here and there. Uh, uh, what? Uh, 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 oh. A roundhouse? How stupid. Typical of my nephew. Welcome to Moomin House, Aunt Jane. Welcome, Aunt Jane. I'd like you to meet our son, Moomin. Pleased to meet you. She's very small for a daughter. Oh, little Mai isn't ours. She just lives here. And I won't get any bigger, either. Hmm. She's like a member of the family. And where's my worthless nephew? Why isn't he here? Oh, well, he's uh, not... Uh, Is uh, he not at home? Well, no. When will he be back? Uh, I don't know. He's away looking for inspiration for his work, so he won't be back for a while. Since when has he worked? I'm here to see him. Maybe you can see me instead. What a splendid idea. How clever of you, Moomin. Ridiculous. He knows nothing about money. In that case, it is high time he learned. As for his father, I may still disinherit him. I'm a member of his family, too. I can talk to you about money matters. Really? Oh, Sniff is a great friend of mine. Hmm? But hardly a member of the family. Hello, Moomin. And you must be Aunt Jane. I brought my brother, the Snork, with me. He wanted to meet you. This is Aunt Jane. Be nice to her. Welcome to Moomin Valley, Aunt Jane. This is my lovely sister, Snort Maiden, who is Moomin's special friend. 
The Snorks and the Moomins may one day be related. So in a way, we're all really family. You may be, but not to me. I'm an inventor, and due to an accident, I'm looking around for a sponsor. A golden opportunity for anyone with some loose capital. Welcome to Moomin Valley, Aunt Jane. <gasps> I'm Hemulin, a botanist of note. I heard that you might be willing to fund my scientific research, Aunt Jane. A golden opportunity for anyone with some spare money. Eh? You'd like me to fund your research? It was my idea. If we built a greenhouse and grow rare orchids and roses, we could make a lot of money. You'll make a lot of money. Young man, I have a lot of money already. Oh, hasn't Sniff discussed this with you, Mom? Who's Sniff? Well, I was just getting around to it, Hamulin. Confusing. When I'm famous for my botanical research, Aunt Jane, I can... I doubt if that will ever happen. This is very confusing indeed for me. Now, you're Snork Maiden, a friend of Moomin, is that right? Oh, no, I'm the Snork, Snork Maiden's brother. I'm a friend of Moomin, Aunt Jane. Did you really explain about my important research, Sniff? Did you really explain that I'm a member of the family? Hey, she done yet. So, Aunt Jane, it would be greater to your advantage to invest it. your money. Be quiet, everyone! Here's your room, Aunt Jane. Hmm. I do hope you'll be comfortable here. Just call if you need anything. Oh. Come in. <laughs> Here's your suitcase. It was very heavy. Thank you. Uh, uh, <clears throat> him. What is it? You want a reward? Uh, no, no, Aunt Jane. Uh, I mean, yes, I do, but... Uh... Which is it? Will you make up your mind, young man? I know where Mom and Papa is right now. He's away on a trip, I know. No, no, he's somewhere quite near. Quite near here? Well, where is he? Mom and Papa said not to tell you where he's hiding. It's a secret. A secret? Yes. I suppose I could tell you, but he'll be very angry. Where is he? Tell me now. Oh, well, if I tell you, I'm taking a big risk. Hmm. Oh, very well. How much do you want? Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that to you. Thank you for the information. Now you shall have your reward. Hold out your hand. <laughs> oh, is that all? Until I've seen him for myself with my own eyes, yes! Hmm. Huh? Uh, what? Oh. There's nobody here. Where is my worthless nephew? Uh, this is very strange. <laughs> You tricked me, haven't you? Well, no, I swear I would never do that. You certainly deserve no reward. Huh? <laughs> no, wait! If we just look around, we'll find him. He's in here somewhere, I know it! Hey, Mom and Papa, I got rid of her! Moom and Mama! Yes, Aunt Jane, what is it? Tell me where my nephew is hiding. <gasps> well... As I said before... I want to know the truth! How dare he... Uh, he's... Uh, now let me see... Uh, Come on, hurry up! <laughs> he's hiding in the cave down by the beach. I've just been there, Mom and Mama, and I can't find him. <gasps> then he really must have gone away on a trip. And why should he want to hide from me anyway? I think he might be a little bit afraid of you. Afraid of me? Afraid of his own aunt? But why? Mostly he's afraid of money matters. Incredible! Afraid of me because of money matters? He must be utterly mad. What a family. I don't understand them. It seems that only Sniff knows anything about money. 
I know where Moomin Pape is right now. So you want some of my gold too, do you, young lady? I couldn't care less about your silly gold. My silly gold, indeed. With silly gold, I assure you, you can do just anything you want. Seems to me your silly gold doesn't even help you to find Moomin Papa. Hmm? I think you should forget about your money. Young lady, money isn't something you can just forget about. It needs constant looking after. That's why I must talk to Moomin Papa at once. Now take me to that rascal nephew of mine, if you really know where he is. Do you hear me? Maiden, do you love me? Oh, yes, I do, Moomin. Do you love me? Of course. Oh, how frivolous. Not really. If I could find a small enough boyfriend, I'd be frivolous just like them, too. Oh, well, Frederick and I were frivolous once. Really? If you say so, I suppose I have to believe you. <clears throat> Jane walking together. <sighs> what are they doing? Little Mai is plotting something. Really? Moomin! Sniff's all right, really. But sometimes he just can't withstand the lure of gold. Checkmate! No! Wait, it can't be right. Let's go back then. <laughs> Fine, just take your time. Hi, guys. Little Mai, what's the matter? We have a guest. A guest? <gasps> Movement, Papa. What? Movement, Papa. Oh, so this is where you've been hiding. Oh dear, oh, 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 oh. You just wait. Oh, I'll get you. Oh dear. Oh, oh. At last, they've all met. Wait, Aunt Jane. No, you wait first. Oh dear. Well, oh. <laughs> wait, please. Moom and Papa was sort of on his way back from a trip and then stopped by to play chess with me. Yes, exactly. No use. Moom and Mama told her the truth. No. Oh. I sort of stopped by and... Why are you so afraid of me, young man? Well, I'm not. Not really. I mean, it's not you. It's your money I'm afraid of. It really scares me. Scared of my money? Well, I never... It's perfectly good money and all in gold coins. Listen, nephew, I'm depending on you as my only relative. Yes, yeah, please depend. When I get too old to do it, you must look after my gold for me. I'm relying on you. No, that's not possible. I know, Aunt Jane, we can give it all away. Must be those who'd love to have it. Must be those who need it more than we do. Oh, a great Don't worry, we'll think of something. Oh, you would throw my money away without a kind thought. Oh, I didn't mean to hurt you, Aunt Jane. I know, let's put it all in a bank. Money likes being in a bank. My money would hate being in a bank. It's a terrible idea. Oh, no, banks are so nice nowadays. They are? Of course, they have flowers and shiny piggy banks and pretty paintings on the wall. Is that really true? Right. Come on, everybody. Let's hurry home and fix a welcoming party for Aunt Jane. A party? Guess any reason is good enough. Oh. <laughs> This was Grandma's best cake recipe. Welcome, Aunt Jane. Let's drink a toast to the only millionaire in our small circle. May she live a long and healthy life. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> now, this is your welcoming party, Aunt Jane. What's the matter? Never in my life have I and my money felt ourselves as welcome before. I'm so happy I could cry. Oh, 
And once you start crying, you just want to go on. Not again. And on. Please don't be unhappy, Aunt Jane. Don't cry. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mom and Papa. Mom and Papa. Yes, Aunt Jane. What is it? I'll put some of my gold in a bag, but you must look after the rest when I'm too old. Oh. Hmm. And why not? All right. Uh, we'll keep it in the cellar and make a nice little niche for it with seashells and moss. And I'll have someone go down and look at it every week. Don't you worry, Aunt Jane. Your money will be in safe hands. Not quite what I had in mind. I know. But I suppose it can't be helped. It sounds rather nice. A cozy little niche down in the cellar. And if you take a look every week, but, oh dear, it will miss me. Oh, Aunt Jane. Very well. I have made up my mind. I'm leaving this suitcase with you now, so you and my gold can get sort of used to each other. Do what you want with it. Your friends seem to have ideas about how to spend it. Flying ships and botanical research sound rather splendid. Oh, oh boy! Wonderful! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Darn. I should have thought of something better than flowers. So ended the visit of the dreaded Aunt Jane. And I'm sure Sniff will be able to think of some other use for the gold. They love the laughter and they love the living the moments. Believing and sharing and caring and giving the moments. They're always happy and always at play. The moons are having fun day after day, the moon.